Scotland's brightest young students paved the way to harness technology for social action today as part of Apps for Good. We are an education technology charity. Um, we help young people be digital social innovators. So we work with over 600 schools right across the country. Um, in our programs, young people learn to pick a problem they care about and then build a technology product to solve that problem. So that can be apps, Internet of Things, or machine learning. And we work with about, um, so it's 27,000 students we reach a year. We've been going for 10 years now. Each year we run a national competition. We invite schools from all around the UK to enter that competition. And um, most of it is an online form that students enter, and we then pick some finalists to come to London. This year, for the first time ever, we're hosting a kind of heat type event in Scotland today. So we're in Edinburgh, we've got five schools from across Scotland who are all here competing for a spot at the London final. So we've got some guest judges from BNY Mellon, so that's Bank of New York Mellon. They will walk around the room, talk to all of the young people and pick a team that they want to shortlist and bring down to London. So we will have a Scottish team in London at our event in June. But how difficult is it to keep adult influence or perhaps interference at bay? We're really passionate about um, student-led learning at Apps for Good. So for us, the all of the kind of Apps for Good courses revolve around young people picking a problem that they care about. So it's really important they think about their day-to-day -day life, their local community, maybe their family and friends, and think of a problem that really matters to them. Um, they then go away and kind of follow the, the startup company model. So they do their idea generation, that um, user research, market research, design, business modeling, and pitch and kind of market their product. But I think our teachers are really good at, at letting the students take the lead in the classroom. And the teachers are really comfortable that students are working at different paces on different ideas um, but the students are so creative that the ideas are amazing. In spite of this being a recurring annual event new yearly innovations continue to help the scheme remain technologically fresh. Yeah, one of the most exciting developments this year is we've been rolling out our machine learning course um, which is the first year we'll have it in schools right across the country um, so that's super exciting because of course that's really relevant and, and um, meaningful for young people to learn about so they were themselves building um, their own products using machine learning. They're learning about the eth ethical implications of it, they're learning about how it works, and most probably learning to be empowered by it um, and, and how they can make a difference through it. As for the competition itself, Danoon Grammar School came out on top of a field packed with quality submissions with Epic Pen. A smart EpiPen which alerts both the user's emergency contact and emergency services if their EpiPen is used. It can also automatically reorder their pen if running out or close to the expiration date. A very tangible example of how these students are taking their future in their own safe hands. Ian McNally, That's TV.